Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and check it out. Made some TNT, flew around, make some industrial TNT. However, that is not going to be the end of it. One, two, three, four. Apparently, if you take some high TNT, you bind it with some string, you can get some dynamite. So, I've been working on where I want to move to. And this this part, um, I can't be sure whether or not I'm going to record all of this episode in one little period, or if the next part will come days later, who knows, but uh, I did some work, I'm sitting here, being bored. This is the same day as the previous episode, currently, and I... I, I don't know, I might actually end up adding more to the outside of this so I can expand it more this way. Thinking about making a door here, but I actually kind of wanted the door somewhere around here-ish. But the problem is, it might work on that side, but on this side, it's a bit thin. And apparently these sulfur torches have a tendency to randomly drop sulfur goo. Which is kind of annoying, but be okay. However, they're currently in my way. The ones by the door could probably stay there. Now, I want to see just how effective this stuff is. Boom. Hmm. Uh, what's going on with this one? Oh! Oh god! Oh. Um. I seem to have found the outside. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Ah! Boom? Ooh. Precision TNT. Although, not quite as much as I want to make it sound like it is. What? There we go. Uh, so, yeah. I think I want to move this whole room this way up to about here. Right? That, that, that sounds good. Because apparently there is an outside here. And that could cause problems. I also didn't mean to create the largest hole in the floor ever, but shit happens. Oh. I went through two emerald picks digging this out, believe it or not. I like this stuff. It works well. Whoops. Well, that's interesting. How very, very interesting. It seems to explode much quicker after you place it, if you place it and then click it. I don't think I can go any more out. Uh, well, no, I can go that way. I just can't go back. I've reached my limit on going backwards. But I can go this way. Hmm. This stuff is fun. I don't know if it's practical, but it's fun. Who needs practical when you have fun? I 
think I'll just blow a hole in the wall. Oops. Hole in the wall. <laughs> the ability to easily throw this stuff upwards is also quite handy. Doot. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Gravel. Nobody likes gravel. This is a very good way to gather more cobblestone than I know what to do with. So I want this roof to be considerably higher. Oh. Fuck. I don't know how hard that hits. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to, I saw the TNT, or the dynamite, and I was like, hmm, what this stuff's like, well, I can't mess with it without recording it, because that would really just irritate people. Come on, everybody knows they like to see a good explosion. And I could really get more out of this TNT, or, well, dynamite if I did things a little bit more precision. For example, if I went up here... Oh, and say I went one, two, and one, two, place one there, one there, and go click, click, And that should have taken out a 3x3 three three chunk. Well, each. So, yeah. I mean, it looks kind of eh. And I've made quite a disaster of my walls. But the whole point was to make it a disaster. Sort of. It was mostly to blow some stuff up. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Well, that brightened things up a bit, didn't it? Uh, gravel is a pain in my ass. Damn it, gravel, you're ruining everything. Hello? Okay, it's there. And one right. Oh, come on. One right there. Precision explosions. Now, if I had, I think it's slime balls, I could actually make sticky dynamite, but I don't have slime balls, so I can't make sticky dynamite. Ooh, what happens if I detonate it in the middle of a big patch of coal? Like so. I hit the outside. Well, that's no good. Although, it's made from industrial TNT, which doesn't destroy materials, so... There's a very good chance that means that this stuff also works for mining. That looks like a ghetto door. 
Eh, what are you going to do? Tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to blow a hole right there. So, I kind of want this to be fairly open, especially up. Although, not having a door is a bit of a pain in the ass. Use some of my last TNT blowing holes in the wall here. I'm just going to call it TNT. I know it's dynamite, but... I could care less. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Throat is still being a bit of a bastard. Well, that's no fun. That's my last uh, thingy. And I'm pretty sure... I might have enough gunpowder to make one more set worth, but... I'm not sure on that. Not sure at all. But, yeah, basically I want a nice, great, big, open, caverny looking area, which... I would have to pretty much build my own mountain, probably, in order to get something as big as I'd like. But I guess it doesn't have to be too massive in scale. I do have a fair bit of space right here. How am I going to deal with that ceiling? That is the great question. Hmm. I'm going to live in a mountain. Because this is Minecraft. You either build a very elaborate house, you build a very elaborate castle, or you build a very elaborate hole in the wall. Or you dig down and build a very elaborate cave. But I am digging a hole in the wall. Now... This is pretty much the structural limit backwards I can go on this wall. Which is regrettable, to say the least. I hear walking and a zombie. Although they appear to be outside this wall. I think in order to do what I want, I would actually have to gather enough dirt and stone and stuff to build my own mountain. It sounds like he's walking around the hill. And that's making me very paranoid. Because that means that he could be on his way in here at any moment. Okay. Or he can go running at turbo speed way past. Whatever, zombie. Do what you want. Just leave me the hell alone. No. Oh, come on. My armor's almost broken. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, too. That looks a little dark. Where is it? Eat at my feet. Eat at my feet. Or, er, technically, ten at my feet. Uh, ooh. there's a s eight at my feet. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Things aren't going to turn out quite as well as, as I had previously intended. But I suppose I can work with it. Maybe I'll just level this mountain and then build a mountain of my own somewhere else. Although it would end up being a fairly well round mountain. Dude, you're interrupting my random thought processes that probably don't make any sense. With that said, would it be worth it to just rip that down? And if it is, should I do it with a turtle? Although I'm not quite sure how I would fuel a turtle. I guess I could feed him like a stack of coal or something. But I could very, very easily build a mountain out here. Look at this. This is the flattest land ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but it is definitely flat as... Oh, yes. I think I should just build my own mountain. Fuck, this rain is loud. Oh, and I still have that thingy up, which isn't helping matters. Well, of course, it's not doing anything for the rain volume, but, uh, yeah... I can still make use of that. As for building the mountain... You know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is going to be the last thing I do for now. Uh, depending on the length of the episode, it'll either end up going up today, or I'll probably end up doing it tomorrow. Uh, I know these things mean absolutely nothing to you, and you probably won't know unless I say something, but, uh, let's try and draw out a mountain. So, I want, ideally I want the door to be, I think, I'm gonna go six wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, oh, nope, that's only five in between. So, oh, I'm not entirely sure what the hell I'm doing. These plants are really screwing up my lock placement. A lot. Fine. Screw you, plants. So, this is going to be the shittiest circle you've ever seen in your life, but I can't help it. Two, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, what? Okay, I understand there's three of these, so one, two, three, four, five. So there's five of those. Okay, so one, two, so that's number three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, 
Do I really want to do this? Cause this thing will be fucking huge. Let me just make sure I've counted the number of these things right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Six. So then I could technically have an entrance on all four sides, but meh. This tree's gonna have to go. I already one, two, three, four. See, I've already lost track. I should be writing this down. How many fours? What? No, that's not a four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do it on this side real quick. One, two, three, move! Four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, eight, two, three. And then a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Your place wrong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. This is not going to be a very tall mountain by the time I'm done. I can guarantee you that. Uh, See, this is where everything goes all out of proportion because now I'm making efforts to avoid the water. And now everything's all out of skew. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I am sick of the rain. Ah, sweet silence. So, I think I've already established this mountain has absolutely no real defining center point so far. One, two, three, four. All the way a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See, I don't want these here. I'm going to have to fill the bottom of this in with dirt or something. But You know what? Screw it. One, two, three. One, two. Oops. Okay, I might be spending more time on this than I previously intended. That's three of those. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, two, Okay, so that's two, three, four, five. This is more like a rounded box than actually a decently created thing. I like it. Ooh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> hey, can't you see I'm busy? Stop it. This will work out nicely because then I can build a dock here and then the rest of this should just. Oh yeah, it literally just hugs the water on the way out. I heard you, spider. There's going to be a slight deformity in the mountain, but uh, you know what? I don't mind that so much. I think that'll actually make it look more natural, to be honest. Do do, do do, do do, do do, do do, do do. Stop it! You might ruin my perfect, terrible outline. If I had built a jetpack, like I was thinking about doing, which I haven't gathered enough rubber for yet, I could go get a nice aerial view that would give me an idea of just how gigantic this is going to be. But this is going to be one long ongoing project. And it's also going to start out as a giant cobblestone dome, essentially. I'm probably going to have dirt on the outside. Well, dirt slash grass. And then on the inside, there's probably going to be another layer inside the cobblestone layer. And then there's probably going to be a gap or two in case I need to run wires. Maybe I should just do a double cobblestone layer. Why so many spiders? Seriously. Spiders. I think I'm gonna do it two thick cobblestone followed by two spaces followed by the inner wall and I'm not sure what I'm going to do the ground out of, but this is going to be a very, very, very large scale project. One that will not be done for a very long period of time. I could probably get it done in a day if I had 
uh, an influx of resources. But I haven't even secured an influx of resources yet, so... That's asking quite a bit, I think. I don't know how long this is. I honestly don't care too much. What I am going to do is get these things sorted out in their stupid boxes. God damn it. There's so much random crap. I can't wait till I have a system set up where I can literally just shift click stuff into the system and it will sort itself. They're outside my door. But uh, I think we should make a turtle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to need a chest. I thought I had a chest. Chest? Ah, there's one. Um, I think that's all I need for now. Oh, no, no, no. I need seven stone. Is it bad that I'm going to be making a turtle from memory? Uh, I hate to use diamonds to do this, but honestly, it's probably the safest way. And I can actually use the coal coke in the turtle. Which will make things considerably... Well, not so much simpler, but uh, make it something, that's for sure. And... Computer! We take said computer and surround it by iron with a chest and we get a turtle! And then we combine the turtle with the pickaxe and we get a mining turtle! But, uh, I'll probably put him over in that mountain. Uh, because if I put him in the mountain, uh, I won't really be able to see his disastrous mess up on the top. But I should be able to set up, like, an obsidian pipe or something. Because I can always use this to go dig out something. Stuff and things. But, uh... I will work on getting the stuff ready to build a jetpack for the next episode, because I'm sure this went on long enough. It's probably a whole thing by itself. Oh, let's uh, label this guy real quick. Label set. We are going to call him Loki. He is now Loki. And any subsequent computers and stuff I do, I'm probably also going to name them after Norse gods till I run out of ones that I can remember from memory. So, yeah. But, uh, that's all for now. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.